Hi, this is Robert at XI Computer. We are looking today at our latest edition of our XI M Tower PCIe workstation based on the i7-5930K. Let's take a look how we did this configuration. For this presentation, uh, the um, Intel Core i7-5930K is clocked at 4.45 gigahertz. Um, then uh, we, do, we did this for, for sake of showing the stability of the design. And then uh, we're going to show the, the uh, performance uh, testing uh, at this clock. And uh, the unit will, is available commercially at a 4.3 gigahertz uh, clock speed that is a little more conservative. Um, the configuration details are here, as we see, um, Core i7-5930K, commercially available at 4.3 gigahertz, um, is the newest generation. and uh, as six core and also is available in the X version with eight cores and supports uh, DDR4. So supports four generations uh, DDR, the, the num uh, double data transfer rate uh, synchronous DRAM uh, at 2800 megahertz. DDR4 um, improves the speed access of the RAM uh, using lower voltage so consume less power and also will allow eventually uh, of higher density module. Um, the unit also uh, is configured with four uh, sticks of RAM because it's a quad interleave, um, and this is the feature of the of the chipset on the motherboard. The motherboard chipset is the X uh, uh, the 99, uh, the latest edition uh, from Intel. Again, uh, we um, we're showing here with a Quadro K5200, 8 gig gigabyte of video RAM DDR5, we're going to show uh, also the 42 and the 22 uh, quadro as a comparison. Beautiful monitor here, the PB287Q um, from Azul, 1 millisecond response time, 4K, 3849 by 2160 resolution, um, double the, the pixels of, roughly of uh, standard 1920 by 1080. We put a 500 solid state drive. We like those. Uh, high performance, high reliability. They are, you know, no moving parts. DVD read write uh, and um, card reader. And we can see here the card reader is uh, a uh, multi one. It's got se over 74, around 74 different standards. And um, we have here a DVD read write can be uh, Blu-ray uh, read-write as well. Um, the case has um, some USB 2.0, USB 3.0, and input and output for audio in the front. Ample ventilation. Um, we got side ventilation as well. Multiple uh, multiple bays, and um, the water cooling system is a double radiator one, and it's placed in the top so to take out most of the heat uh, uh, from the rest of the component in the case. Um, other notable part is this um, Azul's um, X99 Deluxe motherboard, one of the top of the line for the new generation uh, X99 chipset. Um, it's got some nice features, you know, a lot of USBs, a lot of um, different um, interface. Um, power supply is an 80 plus bronze, 1000 watt, and it allows to you know expand uh, this unit with more peripherals. The performance evaluation uh, is uh, we start with the spec perf uh, release 12 uh, from uh, uh, Standard Performance Evaluation Corporation, and uh, we did several different tests here. Um, you know, using old video cards and new video cards. Now this is kind of a small readable, so we're gonna go to the next next one. The video card we use is a uh, Quadro K2000, previous generation, Quadro K4000, also previous generation, and compared to the Quadro K2200 and 4200 that now are offered at the same price, this gives us a good base. Then we put a Quadro K5200, that is almost the top of the line for the uh, Quadro uh, video cards. There is a Quadro K6000 that is also more expensive. We elected not to use it here in this comparison, but we also included two uh you know AMD Fire Pro W8100 and W9100 that are very high-end cards 
uh, more expensive and we'll see in a minute how they perform. Um, as we can see, the, um, the old generation cars, basically um, K2000 and K4000, are overshadowed by the, even the new K2200. So K K2200 is a decent car, outperforming at a lower cost than the, the previous generation car in almost all the tests. Um, really shiny is uh, the performance of the K4200 and 5200. Um, you know, huge, huge jump in performance from the previous generation, the, from the Quadro K4000 to the 4200, we go for, uh, you know, a, an index of less than 40 on Katia to almost 100 in, um, and so forth and so on. Um, and we have to note here that, um, Unfortunately, the AMD cars, they only shine in this medical test and showcase test a little bit, but they are heavily outperformed by the K5200 and even the K4200, even though both those cars, the 8100 and 9100, cost more, way more. The 9100 is over $1,500 more than the, the K5200 at, at retail level. So, unless your very specific application for managing multiple monitors and so forth. The the way to go is really on the Quadro K forty two hundred or, or fifty two hundred. Let's see. Um, else we have the Cinebench from Maxon release fifteen. Here again we have the same set of video cards, and um, on all of them basically we are at the top thanks to the fact that the CPU is powerful. And uh, here we have the, as a matter of fact, the CPU uh, test that uh, notable here is that uh, at the CPU level, um, this 6 core 12 thread at 4.46 gigahertz of the 5930K outperformed a Xeon at 2.66 gigahertz with 12 cores and 24 threads. So a double Xeon even cannot compete with this uh, new single i7. When we, we ask how we want to get a Xeon, uh, yeah, the Xeons are good if you really uh, mm, have the money to invest in huge amount of cores. We're going to do a test some other time in our video on the Xeon per se. And here we got a visualization on the Cinebench. Basically, the uh, the CPU is pretty much constant on all of them, more or less. And uh, the K2000, K4000 are quite good. 2200, of course, outperforms even the, the K4000. Um, 4200 and 5200 are shining as the top uh, frame per second mark. Unfortunately, here again, the W8100 and W9100 from AMD, formerly ATI, are not really uh, delivering much in this test, uh, even though they demand for more money. Uh, Catalyst Benchmark is a classic for AutoCAD. Um, and here we see where the performance um, is, is distributed here. Um, K4000, K, K2000 are doing all right. Again, this is a quite kind of an equalizer per se. So the best value um, is pretty much in the K2200 at this point. While there's no justification to use a 4200 or a 5200, nonetheless, the, the AMD one uh, for AutoCAD. This concludes our presentation for uh, this uh, XI uh, and Tower workstation. For more information, you can uh, uh, reach us at our website, www.xicomputer.com. Thank you very much.